Hey guys, what's going on? So today I wanted to show you both my progress and I wanted to talk to you about how you should auto your first 20, 30, maybe even 40 runs of the raid. Because if you can automate runs 1 through 40, you basically have 60, it's, it's basically a 60 run raid. And if you could get even higher, you're making the raid even easier for yourself. So I wanted to show you guys my progress of here's my day one progress. And since we all have Titus, I basically went in there with just Titus. And I wanted to see how far I could get. Granted, I do have Setekidanem maxed and I do have the water ring. I'm not sure if you guys have that. But I also didn't really max out my Titus in terms of EX jobs 120. So if you guys have a higher EX jobs, you should be able to do as good or even better than I did. So let's get into it. So as you can see on the screen, I basically went into four player mode and I went in with Titus by himself. That way you get a bigger bonus. You guys should take advantage of that bonus as much as you can. So basically what I wanted to do is take a screenshot of every level and that's basically what I did. But I think in terms of making it easier to see and kind of go through, I basically just took every five levels. So as you can see at the top is level five and then level 10 at the bottom, level 15 and 20. And what, what I wanted to kind of capture was sort of like the changes I made between runs. As you can see here, I basically just autoed all the way to level 20 without really changing much. I, I came on with Titus's sword, you know, Odin Esper, and you know, you can see what's on the screen there. And so let's go to the next set of pictures here. And as you can see, I was able to get to level 40 without really much problem i did make one change and that was to change the bells by level 30 somewhere between 25 and 30 and i did find that that helped i didn't have to change it at that point but i was like you know what i want him to do as best as he can so he could so i you know i could just not think about this as much so one thing also i wanted to point out is to make sure you have titus on samurai sub because samurai sub gives you uh, more AOE attacks and he's more able to take out the the other enemies more efficiently while still hit, hitting Diabolos. So in the next set of pictures here, this is basically as far as I made it. Uh, as you can see, the latest screenshot I had was level 43. And then here on the bottom is the amount of damage he was able to do. Now, let me go into a video of myself doing level 40. So what I did was I took a video every five levels just so I could get through this as quickly as possible. So let's turn that on right now. And actually, let me see if I could, you know, it already loaded. So, so this is a little speeded up. And basically what you can see is he uses Bell's first turn and then he just starts doing damage. But basically what I wanted to show you is here that the elementals kind of come in he starts doing night bell and since it's an aoe attack he kind of just hits one of the elementals and one shots them at the same time as hitting diablos so basically he's able to clean up everyone without a problem and so you can see here that now basically what i'd like to do is i pay, pay attention to the turns left at the top and you can see here that he actually does pretty well and there's about eight turns left if i'm not mistaken by the time this is done and i think that was actually pretty good by level 40 to have nine turns left so i in my mind i would have thought he could have gone further but if we go back to our screenshots here uh, you know he only got to level 43 so i'm kind of thinking something went wrong in terms of you know efficiently taking out the elementals or maybe they did too much damage to him or something like that i wasn't really watching it because i i, I just wasn't recording that level but to me it kind of didn't matter at that point what i wanted to do is just take titus as high as he could maybe level 50 if possible but i i basically just decided as soon as titus would lose i would switch to the light team so here is my light team you guys can see in the, on the bottom i'm sorry i'm blocking the lead there but you guys, uh, Vistral. So you guys can see at the bottom, I basically have Vistral and Cecil maxed. We all have Cecil, hopefully. Um, and the other two I don't necessarily have maxed, but it's kind of okay because they've kind of been doing pretty well. 
So if you guys don't have your Cecil maxed or anything like that, don't worry about that. Just as, as long as you have like a light team or if you have a water team to work with Titus, that can work as well. Or, you know, a lot of people have dark teams. And if you don't have any of that, you can probably just throw in a slash team, whatever your best slashers are. And it would probably work just as well. The goal here is to make a chain of slashing right now. Obviously, I'm making a light slash chain. But what I'm finding is that since they run out of AP, aside for the, from the person with bells, you're probably not going to be able to continue a light chain, at, at least not on auto. But the results actually are pretty good. So basically, um, as you guys can see here, I went from f f starting at 44, and then the next screenshot is 50. Um, and then after that, I kind of 55. And you can see Garvel here doing the uh, Flan Princess raid by himself. He So far, he's up to level 4 without a problem, and he's only level 89. So that's kind of like my mindset for this is just kind of first day you just want to go through your auto just go as as high as you can and once you get to that point where you've auto through like maybe level 30 level 40 that's when you kind of really start raiding um as i kind of mentioned before instead of thinking of it as a 100 level raid you kind of want to just auto through the first part and reduce that number as much as possible so now it's kind of like a 50 level raid and then that's kind of when, when you start working on your team, you kind of just, um, you know, start adjusting BCs and equipment and stuff like that. And that's kind of one, another thing I wanted to point out here. As I started, I, you know, I kind of threw bells on El Sorel because I thought she would just kind of be the best unit. Um, I did end up changing. For some reason, I had the bail gauntlet on her. I just changed that to the light ring. I hope you guys have that from Tower. Uh, mine is only on level 40, so that should add some attack to El Sorrel or whoever, you know, whichever one of your light units you want to put that on. And so that's kind of one adjustment I made. Here on Vistral, you can see I changed to the uh, Mind Flayer from Chocobo, just because I was like, you know what, maybe it's probably better to do the, la the damage limit up. Uh, I would have put Two-Headed Dragon on, but my, even though it's an MR card, my Mind Flayer is maxed, so it's actually doing a higher damage limit than uh, the Two-Headed Dragon. So otherwise, Two-Headed Dragon will be better because it's more of an attack uh, stat uh, VC. So if you guys have that maxed, it's probably better to use that. But you guys might want to check your damage limit. So going from here, just looking at the VCs and the equipment and stuff... Uh, you can see much, not much change between 50 and 60. By the time I got here to level 67, I guess I forgot to screenshot 65. But 67 here, I changed Vistral to his Blood Soak Dagger because I kind of found that by this time he was taking damage. So I kind of just wanted him to be more evade -y. I also gave him the Sage's Hat. I think I have a plus two for that. And the Hermes Sandals, which you get from Duel. So if you guys have been doing your class matches, hopefully... You should have that by now. I have, I don't think I even have the, the good one. I just maxed it to level 50 just to get the speed bonus. Um, and so I believe that's where I ended for the night, uh, level 67. I probably could have gone higher, but I kind of wanted to record and stuff so you guys can see what I've been doing. And I also just wanted to go to sleep because I was just really tired. And so let me show you what the light team did here on... On this video that I have so what I was finding was that El Sorel was basically doing AoE attacks which is good because it takes care of the elementals and it kind of prevents the other team members from sort of wasting their time and just single targeting and so I ended up switching Vistral actually I didn't show that in screenshots I ended up switching, switching Vistral to the other side because he kept doing sneak attack and I was like, oh, maybe he could get behind Diablos. But as you can see here, he actually just went in front of Diablos and did the sneak attack. So it was kind of pointless. Uh, but what, what I was finding is around level 67, it's getting to the point where I may have to start two-shotting or I may have to start adjusting here. So for me, this is basically a level 30 raid or, you know, 30 level raid at this point. But there's still some adjustments that I can make. 
Um, Vistral is kind of low on JP, so I wasn't really able to max out his soldier skills. So I think what I'm going to try to do is just kind of, well, put him on the, on, the, on the farming team right now. And then sort of uh, maybe do a JP quest to kind of get his JP up and, you know, and then kind of try to max out his soldier abilities here. So if we go back here, uh, you can see... Uh, maybe you can't see. So at some point I swapped Vistral and Cecil or Rob. I don't remember which one I did. And I kind of made them switch sides. But I guess that's not showing up here. I don't really know why. Um, oh, actually, I know exactly why. That's because the this uh, video right here was on level 65. And since he didn't uh, end up... Uh, doing the back attack i just decided just to put him back on the other side i really don't even know why for some reason maybe i thought it would do more damage i have no idea uh, but that's basically what i wanted to say guys uh, i basically got to level 67 all last night with just autoing on a slash team hopefully i mean i'm kind of seeing other people's stuff and this raid is seeming like it's pretty good for people. It's a slash team, so most people should have at least four slasher, I believe. So hopefully you guys are doing well with that. And uh, tomorrow, or tomorrow, I guess I'll try to see what my progress is in terms of going further than this. I have to work on Vistral's Rave and see if I could uh, get back, continue the one-shot territory, maybe to level 70 or 75. And then at that point, I'm probably going to start two-shotting or maybe manualing and see if I can manual one shot. So guys, I think that's it for today. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful and hopefully you guys are doing well with your raid. And if you're not, hopefully you guys can sort of get some sort of idea as to what you want to do based on what I kind of talked about here. All right, guys. So thanks for watching and leave any comments with how you're doing on this raid. And I'm kind of just excited to get to level 100 and just kind of start working from there. All right, guys, talk to you later.